So what's up YouTube, Bronis with it, another video and in this video I want to introduce you guys to my retouching essentials pack and this pack is going to include skin retouching actions that are going to be changing and speeding up your skin retouching process in Photoshop. So these are the packs I'm introducing in this very video. So as you can see it is Ronix Photography a Retouching Essentials Pack and it has 8 actions. So under these actions we have the Frequency Separation 8-bit, the Frequency Separation 16-bit, the Red Reduction, and Dodge and Burn a Global. So that is for the Global Dodging and Burning. Dark and Blacks and Color Pop. And we also have Sharpened Portraits plus the Eye and Teeth Whitening action. So this is basically the action. And for those that are interested in them, just check in the description of this video or you can simply hit me on Instagram and I give you the link to purchase and buy these actions. So I'm going to come right here and I want to show you guys how to first of all import and use these actions in Photoshop. So basically in order to import these actions into your Photoshop, you basically have to come to a window and come to actions and when you come to actions it is going to open this action folder and as you can see I already have my actions embedded into my action my action panel so when you want to upload them or put these actions into your Photoshop after you have downloaded them simply come right here I hope you can see this right here so just click there and come to load actions so when it comes to load actions you can look for where your actions have been stored after you have downloaded or purchased them. So just come really down here and just select it and you can open the folder and look for the action. So I have one for the Mac and one for a Windows. So when you click on this, just click open and the actions are going to be imported right here. So you will see them in this kind of folder right here. So when you drop down, you're going to be seeing everything. But you can as well, you can even change it to a button mode to see them looking uh, more attractive. But I prefer to turn off this. So when you come to this, I'll show you guys how these basically work and how you can apply them to speed up your skin retouching process in Photoshop. So first of all, we have the frequency separation 8-bit. So you have to notice that we have uh, two bit ratios for images. We have the 8-bit action and the 16-bit action. So remember, I've always emphasized it in my videos. Uh, for the images, when you have an 8-bit image, always ensure that you apply the settings for an 8-bit image and for a 16-bit image, apply the settings or frequency separation settings or actions for 16-bit images. So when I come to these actions, I'm going to first of all play the 16-bit. Since this is a 16-bit action or a 16-bit Im image that we are going to be dealing with and this raw file is also available you can just pay a few cents and you'll get this raw file for your own practice and practice is for your own good so just come and select the frequency separation 16-bit and when you select it click on it and now come to the play icon and you can play the action and it's going to start running so it is going to stop at this point whereby you have to apply the radius. And as I've always told you, when it reaches this step, it is going to stop so that you can blur out the textures depending on the image you're working with. So select this and now you can move this radius. First of all, first move it back and start moving it up to a point when you're losing out on those textures in the image. So I think at around... 10, I've lost out on the textures and simply hit OK and the action is going to continue playing. And when it is done playing, it is going to automatically create uh, the black and white layer inside of the frequency separation group. So I'm just going to close this for a while. And after it has done all that for you, it has also selected for you the low frequency layer. So what is remaining, you simply have to come under the brushes and right click and get your mixer brush tool and set it uh, the way you want to, depending on the settings you prefer to use. So I prefer to make sure it is a clean brush and I set this to a second option because I prefer that uh, the brush is automatically cleaned after each and every stroke 
The wetness I use is 9, load 75, mix 90, flow 100, and sample all layers is not checked and simply start evening out or blending the skin tones and harmonizing them using the mixer brush tool. And you're just going to really get the best results out of uh, these very actions and you're going to be speeding up your skin retouching process. So a link is going to be in the descriptions for those interested in purchasing these actions to support this channel. So you can see the before and after so far uh, on this uh, forehead area. So I'm going to delete this and I want to show you guys how my other actions are going to be working for your images. So I'm going to come back to the actions and after that I'm not going to play this because I don't have an 8-bit image to work with. I'm going to come to the red reduction. So this basically reduces on the amount of reds in the images. Remember for those that shoot with Sony and Canon, you always have reds embedded in the images. So when you play this action, it is going to slightly reduce on the amount of reds in the image. So select the red reduction action and now come and play it. And you can see it has uh, reduced on the reds in the image. And if at all you feel it has done too much, simply come to the opacity and you can reduce on the opacity of that very effect in the images. So I'm going to uh, delete that too. So we have now the dodge and burn or the global dodging and burning action. So simply come and select it and now play it. So when you play it, it has already inverted the masks for you. So what is remaining is coming and getting the brush. So come and get your normal brush and now select it. So depending on the type of uh, dodging and burning you're going to be using, but this one is going to be the basic dodging and burning technique or global dodging and burning. So come under the brushes and right click and select your normal brush. So for the past, you're going to be using a low opacity because you don't want the effect to be too much. So I'm going to be using 10%. So remember when you're dodging, you dodge the highlights and when you're burning, we burn the shadows. So after selecting the brush and setting it to the preferred settings, make sure you have white on the, is on the foreground. So come and make sure white is on top. And as this mask is selected, simply increase on the size and just paint over the areas that have highlights to add that kind of three-dimensional look uh, to your images. So I'm just going to start dodging right there because I want to emphasize those highlights and you can come and emphasize these highlights. So you can come and now band emphasize the cheekbones of the model just like that. So it is more of contouring or adding that kind of three-dimensional look to the image. So just come and paint over those shadows, you can see the before and after. It has really added some shape or dimension uh, to this very image. I'm just going to come and I'm going to delete that. And you can see how these actions speed up the skin retouching process. So come to uh, the dark and black. So basically for the images uh, which we'll be retouching, most of the times when we try to push up the shadows, we tend to uh, desaturate the black. So this action is going to be helping you, for example, get back the nice black detail in maybe the hair or the outfits if at all the model was putting on a black outfit but as you're using these actions always make sure to have either the background there or you create a stamp visible layer if at all you want to apply these actions at a very concurrent rate so make sure you always create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command if at all you have been doing any adjustments before on the image and you don't want to merge everything just create a stamp visible layer before playing these actions so come to the dark and blacks action and when you select it come and play it and you can see it has already darkened uh, the hair of the model you can see the before and the after before and after it has darkened everything that was black in the image and if at all you felt like this too much just come and reduce on the opacity and I hope you can see how this is uh, doing. So we're just going to delete that and we're going to play our rather sixth action. So come and select it. This is the color pop action. So basically what this does, it makes the images pop. So if I told you are a fan of popping images, this is going to be uh, handy for you. So just come and select it and come and play that pop action. So you can see the before and after. 
has added that kind of popping feel to the image. So if at all you feel it is too much, just come and reduce on the opacity, just like that. You can see the before and after. It has just made the image even pop a little bit more. I'm just going to delete that. And the next action is going to be sharpening. Remember, we are all fans of sharpening portraits. So what this does, just simply come and select it and just play it. So when you play this action, it is going to sharpen the overall image. Remember, when we are doing sharpening, we only want specific areas to be sharpened in the image. So let me just try to zoom in and show you guys the before and after. This was the before and the after. I hope you guys can see the sharpening effect right there. So remember when you are sharpening, we want to enhance particular areas of the image and we don't want to sharpen the overall image. So just going to make sure this white mask is selected and hit Ctrl or Command I to hide the sharpening and simply get the brush opacity and flow at 100%. So simply make sure that white is on the foreground and increase on the size and just start painting on all over the areas you just want to enhance and sharpen in your images. So I'm just going to sharpen those areas just like that. So don't sharpen the hair and other parts like the lips because it's going to be creating a rough effect. So you can see as a before and after where I have been able to sharpen. And when you feel like the sharpening is really too much, just come and drop down or reduce on the effect of that effect or the sharpening rather. So just come to, I'm just going to delete that too. And I'm going to show you the very last action for this uh, retouching essential pack. That is the eye and teeth whitening. So just come and select it and come and play this action. And always make sure that you have a layer or a merge layer before playing this action. So when you select it, it's automatically going to invert for you this uh, effect. And remember one review. Remember in Photoshop, white reveals and black eyes, meaning the eye whitening effect has been hidden behind this black mask. So basically come, I'm just going to close this, come and, and use the brush. So make sure the opacity and the flow at 100. And now come and select the brush hardness at zero. So this is a normal brush and make sure you have white on top and to reset, just click on these two boxes to get white on top. And you can switch by using X on the keyboard between the four. You can switch between the foreground and the background. And now you can zoom in. Uh, maybe the eyes so remember this has to do the eye whitening automatically for you so just come and start painting over the eyes to whiten them i hope you can see what this is doing or how it is being able to transform this image so just whiten what you feel like should be white in this uh, specific image i hope you can see and i hope you guys really love uh, these uh, results so you can come down and do the same for the teeth and just reduce on the size by using the brackets and do some little bit of teeth whitening and this action is really natural and I love it so much. You can see the before and the after for the eye whitening and when you feel like the effect is too much just come the opacity and drop down the opacity according to uh, your liking and I hope that is all for these retouching actions and for those interested, you'll get the 8-bit action, that is for the frequency separation, the 16-bit action, the red reduction action, the dodge and burn action, that is the global dodge and burning, the dark and blacks action, the color pop, the sharpened portraits, and eye and teeth whitening action. And these are going to be speeding up uh, your skin retouching process in Photoshop. And those interested, the link is going to be in the description of this video where you're going to be able to buy and purchase these actions or this retouching essential action pack from Ronix Photograph. And this is all for today's video. Don't forget to buy these actions and don't forget to use them in your daily skin retouching routine. And they are going to really be helpful in your retouching process and your career in general. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating